In this video, I'm going to talk about OSPF external type 1. That's this E1 is short, short for versus OSPF external type 2 routes. So you would uh, encounter these things if you are uh, dealing with uh, redistribution. So redistribution uh, basically means that uh, you are uh, injecting routes from 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 a routing protocol, uh, for example, AIGRP, and you are injecting uh, those EIGRP routes into uh, OSPF, or vice versa. Uh, you are you are trying to uh, redistribute the OSPF routes into EIGRP. So that is just a redistribution. Redistribution basically. That is what redistribution is. So, like I said earlier, uh, E1 is short for external OSPF external type 1. So it is basically an OSPF external type 1 uh, in which internal OSPF cost is added to the cost of the route that is uh, as the route is redistributed into OSPF so uh, for example For example, in this <clears throat> on router one, uh, of course you go into this is the uh, configuration of OSPF on uh, router one. So OS router OSPF one redistribute to EIGRP. So you are trying to <clears throat> redistribute your EIGRP route into OSPF uh, domain. So, this is the command, redistribute EIGRP in the ES number, autonomous system, autonomous system 1. Metric, this is uh, what you specify as your metric, but if you don't specify a metric, the OSPF redistribution metric is 20 by default. But here we are specifying 10 as the metric and submit, uh, you need to add subnets so you can uh, redistribute the subnet and <clears throat> uh, the classless, I mean the subnet and, uh, route for example here uh, this is just class A. Right, so, uh, but in our example, we, we are using a slash 24. So you have to, you have to add subnets so you can uh, dis redistribute, redistribute this, this subnet here into, uh, into OSPF. And if you don't add subnet, but if you don't add subnet, you can only uh, distribute the classful, the classful version of this uh, of this subnet. So you ha you uh, you don't have to. I mean, you must not forget subnet keyword. So the network. Um, I'm just explaining the what the command is for here. So the network is 
The network command is just basically means that you are including this, you know, this interface into OSPF area zero. So, you know, this is the network of your interface that belongs to, and this is the wildcard mask or the reverse subnet mask and area zero. So, but the focus here is the, of course, the E1 and E2 uh, OSPF routes. So, like, as I was saying, the the E1 route will add the external the egress interface speed or the cost to the to the uh, to the route while it is you know redistributed into OSPF so <clears throat> in this example uh, if if you go into router 2 and you do a show IP route you would actually see that the <coughs> that the metric or the cost is 11 because uh, cost is uh, based on the ref default reference bandwidth which is 100 and the interface speed which is 100 if you uh, divide those 100 divided by 100 equals 1. So, uh, like I said, the cost on router 2, the OSPF cost on router 2 would, will be 11. Um, provided that, uh, you know, uh, you, this is the, the command here is, uh, in, is incomplete. You, you actually have to uh, specify a metric type 1 if you need to, if you want to see, you know, E1 as the, uh, E1 as the type of your uh, OSPF route. So I hope that it makes sense, but I know that it is hard to, uh, visualize without going into the router but but uh, it is just very easy uh, <clears throat> redistribute EIGRP1 uh, metric 10 and if you don't specify metric the default is 20 and then the and then the metric type if you want to specify uh, if you want to specify E1 it is up to type E1 and then subnet that's it and then like I said uh, E1 is when when you use metric E1 as the metric type, the the internal cost is added to the route uh, while it is redistributed into OSPF. So in our case, it became 11. If it, you know if you go into router two, uh, the metric will be 11 because 10 plus you know the the reference the default reference <coughs> bandwidth uh, is 100 and the in this case we are using fast ethernet so the the speed is 100 so 100 divided by 1 100 is 1 so that's for uh, e1 or external external type one. So let's talk about uh, E2. So E2, like I said earlier, uh, is short for OSPF external type two. So this is a an OSPF external type, uh, an OSPF external route, in which internal OSPF cost is not added to the cost of the route. As it is redistributed into OSPF. So, in our example here, 
redistribute AIPRP1 metric 10. Uh, like I said earlier, we specified 10 as the metric. And, you know, we have this configuration in router 1, right? And, and when you go to router 2 and you do a show IP route, your metric will not be, will be the same because um, because the cost, the internal cost, is not added to the route as it is redistributed into OSPF, unlike E1. And by the way, uh, E2 is the uh, default metric type of uh, OSPF. I think I said that, uh, no, I haven't said that yet. So uh, if you don't specify metric type, your metric type will be E2 because it is uh, set by default. So I hope that makes sense. Um, I would probably talk about this again, uh, but I think it's better to use uh, GNS3 or at least uh, a packet tracer if you, if you know, I really need to. Uh, to do a demo of how you know these external routes work, but um, that's it for for now. Thanks.